Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Dan, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the Capabilities-Based Assessment, or what I call a CBA. What is a Capabilities-Based Assessment? The Capabilities-Based Assessment provides recommendations to pursue material or non-material solutions to an identified capability gap that meets an established capability need. When does the Capabilities-Based Assessment take place? The Capabilities-Based Assessment is the analysis portion of the Joint Capabilities Integration and Development System process, or what I call the JSITS process. It takes place at the very beginning of the process. The figure here shows the location of the CBA in the combined JSIDS and acquisition process. The information developed in the Capabilities-Based Assessment is used to develop the first requirements document, the initial capabilities document. What are the objectives of the Capabilities-Based Assessment? The CBA is meant to define the mission, identify capabilities required, determine the attributes and standards of the capabilities, identify gaps, assess the operational risk associated with the gaps, prioritize the gaps, identify and assess potential non-material solutions, and finally, provide recommendations for addressing the gaps. The CBA does not provide specific recommendations as to a particular material solution but rather provides a more general recommendation as to the type of material solution, such as information technology system, incremental improvement to an existing capability, or an entirely new capability. In this way, the ICD can be used to establish boundary conditions for the scope of the analysis of alternatives. The CBA should define the operational framework to guide the development of alternative material and sustainment solutions. It should also provide affordability advice to the planning, programming, budget and execution process. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the Capabilities-Based Assessment. For more information please visit the webpage. Congratulations on finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.